realized I want to be a writer. So my first book is a collection of 13 short stories. We did it here in the United States. It's called NYC Murder Mystery. The first step is about your first dream. The first step is about believing in yourself. The first step is about accepting a first compliment with grace. The first step is about attracting positive energies from the cosmos. The first step is about encouraging others with your stories. Welcome back. Hi, I'm Hasini. I'm 12 years old and I study in our Vyashram in Chennai. And if you guys are new here and uh, you know, this is my motive and mantra for this first step. All of us have the same neurology. If it is possible for others, it's possible for me. So if it is all, if it is possible for these young children, it is also possible for you and your kids. Hey all, welcome back. Today, with pleasure, I'm about to interview a young author who's studying in USA currently, who's only 12 years old and has successfully completed launching his second book. I'm very excited and curious is for his replies for our questions with that and with pleasure let me welcome Rishi. Hi Rishi, how are you doing? Hi Hasini, how are you? Hey guys, I'm Rishi I'm and uh, I go to 7th grade. I'm going to 8th grade this year and I live in the United States. I have written two books and I'm almost completed with my third book. But I mean uh Thank you for accepting our invitation and being part of this first step. And uh, how do you feel, you know, being an interview, interview, in you interviewed by me? How do you yeah. feel being here first? I'm very thankful <laughs> to be interviewed in this interview. <laughs> My pleasure and uh, once again, thank you. And. Um, how do you want to brief about yourself? Do you mention in detail how do you want to brief about yourself? A brief about me? I'm, uh, I'm Rishi and I'm a normal. Talk about your books like. Okay, you've launched two books currently. And I um, mean, what are those books and mention them? So my first book is a collection of 13 short stories ranging from different genres. Okay. And uh, like mystery, time, time travel, fantasy. And I'm glad to say that it was released by prominent archaeologist, Mr. R. Madhivanan Aya, who has researched and written many books on in this very Tamil civilization. Okay. And and my second book, we did it here in the United States. It's called NYC Murder Mystery. It's a mi detective story um, where a um, aristocrat dies and my detective goes to New York City to investigate his murder. Okay, I mean, you know, actually, I'm blessed to interview you, young achievers. I mean, you know, you're very young to launch two books, first of all. That's something to be appreciated. And uh, when did you first realize you wanted to be a writer? So, my first book, uh, I was writing in my blog, and then we later decided to write it as a book. So, when I big before I began writing my second book, I realized I want to be a writer. Because we, we didn't mean to publish the first book, so I really didn't have the idea of being a writer. So on my second book, I decided to be a writer. Okay, that's good. I mean, I would just say keep motivating yourself in what you like. I mean, that'll definitely help you reach out to your success or your plan. I mean, that can be definitely good. And uh, what does your family think about your writing? Uh, what kind of comments do they give and uh, how do they react to your writing? They feel positive about my writing and they encourage my writing. Okay. Um, I mean, uh, you know, it's always good to take uh, feedbacks or comments from other people, you know. That's why you know, I mean, what, where and all you made mistakes so that you could correct yourself. I would definitely recommend that for people who are just starting. And um, how long does it take for you to finish a book? 
so for the first draft of the book it takes about like five to six months then there's like logical loopholes which takes a long time to fix so it, I would say about one year okay so that depends on the uh, book is it yeah Okay. And it also depends on how much about it. And um, where do you get your ideas for your uh, books? Because you being so unique and creative, I mean, when it comes to your books, where do you get your I mean, ideas? The idea just comes up to me. I, my ideas get um, shaped by the many books and movies I watch. Okay. So, I mean, uh, just get inspired. I mean, from what you like, and just you know, uh, connect it to your passion, and just do what you you are interested in. Uh, I mean, you can be inspired by anything, right? I mean, that's what I would like to say. And uh, do you hear from your readers much? And uh, what kind of uh, feedbacks or comments do they give? I never really heard from my readers much, but um, my family and friends have read it, and they give me positive reviews. I never got a negative review, but if I got a negative review, I would investigate it, and if it was valid, I would try to fix it next time. Okay, I mean, that's good. Uh, I, I mean, I always say, that if it's something bad, I mean, uh, take just the good, I mean, whatever is useful, and uh, just ignore your negative comments much. And uh, if they give any correct flags which you had to work on it, definitely take it because that's really useful. That's where you know where you do your mistakes. And uh, listeners, please carefully know this point. And um, what do you think makes a good story? To me, there are three factors that make a good story. The first one is a logical plot. The second one is a little bit of humor. And the third one is detailed characterization. Okay. I mean, you know, I'm just, you know, talking with you. I'm able to know what, you know, what are the story behind the writing of a book. Which, you know, even inspired me to write a book. So, and uh, I, you were a child. When you grow up, what do you want to be? And what is your dream book? When I grow up, I want to go into a field that's something related to robotics. I'm learning Python and I have a robotics kit at home, so it helps me. Okay, so you not only concentrate on writing, even on robotics, something to be appreciated and can definitely be followed. And um, what advice would you like to give to a new writer uh, who's just started, who is interested in writing? and who wants to improve writing skills. I have two tips for them. One is read a lot of books. They help you shape your ideas. And the second one is travel a lot. So you can learn about new people, new cultures. They help you writing a book. So you know, hearing this, I don't just thought you just say, learn a lot and uh, you know, visit a lot of places which could help you in your life. So if anyone really interested, who's really passionate about writing, please follow this. And um, what in your opinion are the most important elements of good writing? Like I said before, the three elements of good writing is a logical plot, a little bit of humor, and detailed characterization. Okay, I mean, uh, thank you for you know, mentioning that. And uh, how do you come up with the titles of, for your books? They are very unique and uh, how do you come up with your titles? So I don't fix the titles when I begin writing the book. I just start writing and in the middle of writing, an idea just pops up. I check in Google that if that name exists in another book. And if it doesn't, I discuss it with my family. And if they're okay with it, um, I choose that name for my book. No, I just say you just get suggestions from other people, and you go browse it up, and you know you, you know you being uh, you learn a lot, you suggestions a lot, and then work. Uh, definitely will help when you you know you're 
you want you wanted to achieve great i mean if you wanted to reach success that will definitely help you just get questions from other people and um, i think they'll help you out and um, what was your favorite part and least favorite part in this journey in your writing journey so you have published three or uh, two books successfully i'm so sorry two books successfully and what is your least and favorite part about this journey so my favorite thing is writing the first draft it's very interesting and you get to write the new stuff and my least favorite part is the final um editing so there are there's a logical loophole i don't i have to fix it in many places and not just one it takes up a lot of time and it's a uh, boring compared to the other steps when writing a book so oh, i mean uh, uh, about talking about your favorite part uh, that was your first book that was your first step which helped you a lot you know uh, which helped you to write your second book you know you got interested more in you got very passionate about writing and you started writing your second so i mean as a title channel the first step i mean that was your first step, writing your first book and talking about your least favorite part I mean, you know i am even able to know with the listeners you know what and all uh, you know difficulties you even go through when you write and um What do you like to do when you are uh, not writing? Apart from writing, what are your hobbies? I like to play cricket. I like to play tennis. I like to watch a lot of movies and read books. I like to play with my sister, and uh, I like to do. Um, I like to learn programming. And uh, okay. what's it about? So, I mean, you like to learn programming. You love. I mean, you know. Um, You love whatever you do. I guess you are such a different person apart from everyone. You being unique, and uh, I would just say love whatever you like to. And uh, that's a very good sport, according to me. And um, how many plot ideas are just waiting? And uh, can you tell us about one? Um, how many? You know, what is going to be your next idea for your book? So my next book is almost done. It's it's the same detective agency from the second book. They um the police a police in Canada calls them for help because a historical painting gets stolen from a new museum and they go to investigate it. And the story is about who's the culprit, how they find it. I mean, it's really interesting, and I'm very curious to read the ones it's launched. And all the best. I'm definitely. I mean, I'm sure that it'll definitely be success again. And Thank you. Uh, I think it's a series. Right? The second. Good. And uh, you know, most important question: What is the one mantra which has helped you in your life in all situations you have put in? I really don't have a mantra. I just write. Or any core statement which you truly believe in. I don't think there's such um such thing that I believe in, but. Okay, and uh, thank you for being on the show. And uh, once again, very I mean, I'm very grateful to meet you. to talk with you and with that I'm um, coming to the end of this show uh, what do you want it what is the first step you're going to take and do not forget to comment down below if any of these stories inspired you to take your first step and uh, do not forget to mention down below if you know any kid who's a young achiever and has achieved something really great in a young age and if you want to see them on my channel please mention their name down below and uh, i'll see you next week with another interesting story before that don't forget to like share and subscribe and follow my fb page bye bye